What up, internet? How are your faces? It is currently some time later, a couple days in fact. I'm sitting here eating some really late dinner um, with a whole lot of rice because, you know, carbs and just enjoying some internet or whatever. Um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot right this second because I've learned that I am really bad at eating and talking at the same time. So let me just like enjoy this deliciousness real quick and then I will get right back to you. So remember how I was gonna get right back to you? It's roughly 20 hours later. Oops. Uh, yeah, I'm at the mall right now. Um, I'm kind of just taking like a quick break or whatever. I don't even have a real reason to be here or whatever, but then it occurred to me, um, it is June, uh, Pride Houston is coming up, and I don't have anything even remotely close in the way of Pride merch or whatever. So I think I might see if there's like a hot topic or something like that around here. See if I can get something like that. Who knows? Whatever. I'm just trying to kill time here um, and just, you know, live life or, or whatever. It's my last day before I head back to Genesis. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna see what the hell happens. I have no idea. <laughs> um, stay tuned, I guess. All right, found it. So we will see what happens. If our worst comes to worst, looks like we realize might have some stuff. I don't know. I don't know how. Far I'm planning on going with it. Um, so let's walk in. We will see what the hell happens. And your boy got merch. <laughs> yeah, if anything, I even got everything that I was like thinking about, like wearing the like pride stuff or whatever. Like I have a bandana, I got socks. Um, threw in some like like <laughs> straw break system there too, because why not? Let's get all the bling we can. And I even found a bisexual pride t-shirt. So yeah. Be pretty much good unless I decide to go like really crazy and like stuff like in the days leading up to before. But um, but yeah, we Gucci. <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go get some food now. <laughs> so psych, changed my mind. Don't feel like leaving quite yet, even though I am really hungry. But we'll get into that in a second. Um, felt inspired to go check out the bookstore all of a sudden. Don't know why. We'll see what we find. I just feel like just lounging around books for a second because I used to be really into them. And I'm trying to get back into them. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Also, uh, while I was passing by like a massage, like parlor stop thing or whatever happened through the mall, I got offered a free sample. And I don't know why, but the idea of a free sample massage or whatever um, just inherently terrified me. So I kept walking. <laughs> I'm sure it would have been great. Again, I'm sure the guy was very nice, but I just, I. I, I don't know, it, it, it felt icky. I didn't like I didn't like the idea of it, so nope, just eat it on out. <laughs> and I got a book. Found one that I hadn't really been looking for, but um, ended up there, and I had been interested in it, so uh, what the hell, went and got it. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about what it is, also show you the other stuff I got later, but right now I'm gonna get to my car real quick and go get some food because uh, it'd be raining, like it's raining right now. <laughs> I'm not pleased. <laughs> um, whatever. Screw it. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right, so it is just a little while later. I got some dinner or whatever. I'm gonna put this away or whatever while watching some Netflix and then and then we'll chat because I acknowledge that this was a weird vlog. But we will talk. <laughs> so by the time I was done putting away laundry, it was really late in the morning, so I'm going to Oh, well, <laughs> I did end up going to sleep, and I'm going to finish up uh, what I was going to talk about last night, even though it's the next morning, and I definitely want to end the vlog, because I want today to be the start of a new vlog or whatever. Um, yeah, the past couple of days have just been, I don't want to say strange, but it just, um, I don't know. Um, I've been trying to kind of figure out life a little bit, or whatever. Um, it's cool. It's fine. It, it works. Um, I don't know. I just need to figure it out. Like, that job interview did go really well, and I have a lot of opportunities to create, you know, a, a further life for myself in Houston than I had last year. I just, I just need to figure it out. I just need to figure it out exactly what I want. I think I do now. I think I'm close to that. And I'll explain much more in detail once I do figure it out or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of been it or whatever. Um, yeah. Um, other than that, just a lot of kind of just 
trying to figure out what the hell is happening, <laughs> which is good, which is fun, which is fine. Um, yeah, yeah, that's this this is kind of where I'm at. I'm just trying to trying to survive day by day, figure out what I'm doing, make a little bit of money on this side with that moving company. I don't know if I told you about that, but whatever, it's fine. It's I'll explain more about that later too. So let's start with the book. Um, this this little um, horror anthology right here. It is young adult, but I personally have no beef against young adult or, or whatever. So here's the, here's the very interesting history I have with this book or whatever. Um, I originally found this um, in the uh, the library of one of the schools that we were staying at for for a couple of days when I was with Seventh Regiment. So keep in mind that's like three years ago. <laughs> And I read a couple of the stories in it, and the the th the three yeah, the the three that I read were really freaking good. Um, one of them in particular has like stayed with me like through all that time. As you can tell from from the title and the cover, it it is horror fiction. It's a whole bunch of horror short stories or whatever. Um, I personally love the horror genre right up my alley or whatever. Um, one of them like like any good horror does it, it 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 stayed with me like it got like deep in here and it wouldn't leave and the other two while it didn't quite like burrow down that deep they still like unnerved me and like freaked me out a little bit um and so unfortunately by that point you know we were leaving the school and i haven't seen it since but i the fact that i remembered like three of the stories in this enough to like remember even like what the name of like the anthology was um, and I knew that someday, like, you know, like, I needed to get it. I needed to, like, find a way to actually, like, get my hands on it to, to do it or whatever. And while walking around the bookstore last night, found it. <laughs> and so I was like, you know what? It's only, like, $11. Screw it. Let's get it. More reading material for the bus. So there you go. That's what I got. Um, cool. And now, let me show you some of that Pride merch. So, yeah, I went as basic as I could. I got that, um, that old rainbow bandana couple of, of these things or whatever. I didn't need these, but you know, I thought, you know, it's a nice, it's certainly a nice touch. Of course, what pride is complete without, you know, um, at least crew length um, rainbow socks. Very important. And now here's the thing that I was very, very, very pleased to find personally was this, uh, again, bisexual pride. Um, it's, it's nice to see, you know, like, merch sets actually representative of, like, every, every identity within the spectrum or whatever, because it's not just, you know, just, like, the rainbow, sure, the rainbow flag is representative of all of us or whatever, but, you know, you also want a little bit of just, like, you know, like, this is who I am specifically or whatever, and so it's really cool that, you know, that I, that I found merch like that or, or whatever, because literally I haven't found that anywhere else. Like, we're talking, like, even online or whatever. So, yeah, really happy I found that. So now I just gotta start making plans to, you know, go. So, yeah, that's it. That's everything I got on my unexpected, like, splurge trip or whatever. Um, yeah. Yeah, that ended up being fun. And then I just got Chipotle and then watched a shit ton of YouTube and Netflix and then kind of passed out. And yeah, it's been an interesting couple of days where I don't want to say I wasn't doing anything because I most definitely was, but uh, it was it was a way to just kind of just like de-stress, especially after I you know like got a job offer or whatever. I didn't have to like work as hard to be all like I had to figure out what the hell I'm doing next year or whatever. So yeah, that's um that was pretty nice, um, and I'm looking forward to you know continuing to just keep yeah whatever. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm sorry this vlog was so weird. I guess it's just one of those random like stopovers in between a whole bunch of crazy whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so cool. I've, I I had fun. Hopefully you did a little bit too. Next three days, definitely going to be a lot of fun because I'm back on the island. <laughs> um, cool. That being said, I had to get to that. So <laughs> until next time, okay, see ya.